Hello everyone, this is Teja from Maximizer. In this video, I'll go through the process of setting up uh, MailChimp integration um, inside Maximizer. So let's get started. First things first, um, you need to go to the app directory and click on the MailChimp uh, card and then click on get it now. Once you, once you click on that, you should see a notification saying the integration has been activated for your account and then after that just click on OK. Once you do that, um, once you're done finishing that, you can go to the address book uh, module. In this module you should see a MailChimp following tab here, um, but if you don't see it, um, just click on this plus symbol here and click on MailChimp to be visible and click on OK and then there you go you see the MailChimp following tab um, you can click on that and then here you have to set up the API keys in order to sync data between MailChimp and Maximizer so click on Maximizer Connect Setup here once you do that a dialog should open and should ask should prompt you for an API key In order to find this MailChimp API key, you need to log into your MailChimp account. Um, once you're logged in, you can click on your user profile button at the top right corner and then click on account. Once you're in the accounts page, click on extras and click on API keys. Now, if you haven't created the API keys before, you can simply click on create a key, which will generate a new key for your account. Uh, for me, I already have an, a couple of API keys already set up, so I'll just use one of these API keys. Um, just copy one of these keys and paste it into your uh, Maximizer MailChimp API key field, and then click on Connect. So once you clicked on Connect, the integration should be authorized. The next steps would be to configure this integration between MailChimp and Maximizer. So click on configuration and select a sync list option to choose which list to be synced between Maximizer and MailChimp. And just a heads up, you can only select one list um, at a, uh, for this integration. So this shows you that I have one list uh, inside MailChimp and it's called eDelivery. So I'll click on that and then click on OK and click on S. So this is the list that I choose. Um, so now the next step would be to sync the fields between Maximizer and MailChimp. Um, so click on the fi map fields option and then map the fields um, between those two, between the two accounts. So for address, um, you can choose basic fields, um, address line one, select, and then address line two, select. And you can do this for the rest of the um, rest of the fields. As you can see, I have now mapped all the fields uh, between Mailchimp and Maximizer. So the next step would be to click on OK. The next step in the configuration process would be to uh, set up the sync settings. So click on Edit Sync Settings. Um, the first thing you need to choose is the sync frequency. By default, uh, it's set to one hour, um, which is also the lowest interval that you can choose. Um, so I'll just leave it at one, but you can choose to pick uh, two hours up, all the way up to 24 hours, which is basically it syncs every, uh, every day on a 24 hour basis. Um, the second setting would be the conflict resolution. Um, this, is, this setting basically allows the user to figure out what's, which account to use as the uh, source of truth. Um, if there's a conflict uh, uh, on an entry, on an AB entry between um, MailChimp and Maximizer, um, then the user can choose uh, whether the Maximizer um, overrides the MailChimp entry or the MailChimp entry overrides the Maximizer entry. So I've picked Maximizer for now and uh, I'll click on OK. So before performing the last step, um, you also need to set up which accounts 
get synced to um, MailChimp. So for now, click on close and then select an entry, uh, select any contact um, in your address book module and then go to the user defined field here. And then if you don't see this field, you can just click on the plus symbol and then um, select the field uh, and make it visible. Um, and then click on OK. So after it refreshes, um, you should see if a bunch of fields here. Basically, these are all the user defined fields. Um, if you don't see the MailChimp folder here, click on the show blank fields checkbox here. Once you do that, you should see the MailChimp um, um, UDF fields. So click on MailChimp. Here you can set whether this sync, whether this contact will be synced to MailChimp. Um, if you want to set it to true, uh, click on the uh, field and then click on yes. Um, and that's it. So you, you need to do this for any contacts that you want to sync from Maximizer to MailChimp. Once that's done, head back to the MailChimp uh, following tab and then click on the connect setup again. And then go to the configuration window and then click on reset and resync entire list. What this will do is it will sync all the contacts that are in the maximizer address book module um, that have the UDF fields synced to MailChimp set to yes. Uh, so click on that and click on confirm. And in the next synchronization cycle, which I set it to every one hour, um, uh, it, will, it will sync all the contacts to MailChimp. So click on close. And that's it. Uh, this is the setup for setting up a maximizer and MailChimp integration. Thank you and thanks for watching.